Hello, this is Tamisha with Educational Tutoring Centers with a GED problem. And this is in the concept of um, doing permutations. And the book that I'm using is the Kaplan GED Test Premier 2015. This is question number five. On page 305. Okay, the question that I have written here says Angel has been given six tasks to do at work, but she has time to complete only four of them. She must decide in which order to do the task. How many possible orderings of four tasks are available to Angel? Okay, on this particular problem, they're um, asking about order. So when order matters, you do permutations. Permutations as opposed to combinations. So remember that when you're doing a permutation, it's when order matters. Okay, so we have a formula that we'll be using. And the formula is NPR. Okay, where N is the total number of items that you're working with. And R is the number of items that you're taking at a time. These are the items that you're choosing. Okay, so, and then the formula for your permutations. Sir. You're going to take your P, angel, angel. For your permutations, you're going to do your number, which is your total number, over the difference of your total number and the items that you're choosing, and you're going to take that as a factorial. So this is the formula that you're going to be using, where here your total number goes up there and it's used as a factorial and um, then your N and your R are both going to go here in the denominator. You're going to subtract them and use them as a factorial. So we have um, six tasks that we're trying to complete, so we're going to do six factorials divided by six factorials, or six minus four factorials, okay? so. You might wonder what uh, a factorial is as an operation. It's just simply a way of doing multiplication. And so we're doing it as a, doing it, decreasing the number by one. So it's six times five times four times three times one. Okay. And then for the denominator, we're doing six times four, which is two. So this right here is two factorials. So that will be 2 times 1. Oops, I skipped a 2 up here. Times 2 times 1. Okay? And then we're just simply doing uh, multiplication and division. We can multiply each one of these by each other and come up with a really large number and then dividing by 2. Or we can do some cancellation. So we, here we see we have a 2 and a 2 up here. So we can cancel those out. And of course the 1s can cancel out. So all we're really multiplying is these numbers here. So 6 times 5 is 30. And 30 times 3 is 90. And 90 times 4 is 360. So that's 360. And then, of course, when you're taking your test, um, you're provided with an online calculator that you can use to do these. There is a function on your calculator that has this exclamation mark, which is used for factorials. So you would just simply enter in your calculator, six factorials, um, do your division button, and then make sure you're putting the six minus four in parentheses and then your factorial key. The other option for entering these is to first push your n over d function, which is your fraction key, and then in the numerator punch in six factorials. And then if you want to just say, okay, I already know what two fact two uh, six minus four is, it's two. Then put two factorials in the denominator and let your calculator do the work. And you should come up with this answer here. 
So it says how many possible orderings of four tasks are available to Angel. So there's a total of 360 ways that she can order that work. Okay. Um, you also could do these by hand if they were shorter problems. Um, but being um, six tasks done four different ways, you will be writing for a very long time. So it's best to use your formulas. Okay, and that is it for this video. If you would like to have more individualized tutoring sessions, please contact me at the number listed at the bottom right of your screen, and we can get your, your session scheduled. Thank you.